Hello everybody, it's GameKeeper, and I'm back, well I'm not back, I am starting a new series of XCOM Enemy Within, so without further ado, don't let the book be, let me just do this thing, before you on, uh, do you need, do, 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 Without further ado, let's kick this off. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Let's go. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Unknown bogies reclassified as intelligent, possibly extraterrestrial life. I'll explain events at impact site. German FSLK 200 LRP reported MIA. Operation Devil's Moon. Move it. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3 1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby.
Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta-1, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Soldier can move up to two times per turn. The number of remaining moves is indicated by the in the ground. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Soldier may cover long distance to a gap. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Oh, that is right. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there, and get to cover. Delta-2, that door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby. But do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. What the hell? 
hell is you going on? You saw Delta Hostile, 3 sir. is Port. down! Grenade! What the? Got it. He's down! Delta 1 is down! Casualties 1. Central! We're taking fire for multiple x-rays! This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire! Damn it! Delta 2, your flank too. Find some better cover. All right, Delta 2. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Alright. So, base location. All aircraft and aircraft have been caught in the and let to produce, build, and maintain. This seems more useful. I think. Do I want more aircraft or do I want more? Feeling that this is how you build things, so I want to go to this. Affirmative. We are coming home. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Commander. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Jose Luis Soto. I butchered that name. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Yes, we want him to fire a rocket. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard <laughs> weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. <laughs> yes, they will, they will. Boom! Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, hello, Central. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. 
Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. To mission control we go. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. So we have Rookie Johannesson, Squad Soto, Rookie Hill, and Rookie Sanchez. We're gonna do good this mission. Touching down. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Okay. Right, yeah. Moving to position. Good. Now open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. Now take cover inside. All right. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Recibido, señor. Mirad bien. There they El are. Está the rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Alright, so we can't make it there. So we move in twos. Johannesson. Stepping off. Recibo fuego intenso. Asunto resuelto. It's affirmative. On my way. Great work. 
work out there, people. The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. This is interesting, so I'm gonna put this on. In marcha. That man landed for some thousand times. She. Heading there now. Back online. Heading there now. It's killing time. Voy hacia allá. Manos a la obra. Objetivo en la mira. Moving to designated position. Es hora de correr. You're okay, soldier. But another one like that, and that'll be the end of you. Make sure to stay in cover. Commander. Our veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. on our last mission, people. These things have highly advanced weapons. Be careful out there. Aim carefully, soldier. You only get one shot. Lanzando! Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Well, the last one, sadly. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. Hmm. So we got a laboratory. 
XCOM squad deployed to the United States has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Baltimore. United States is, is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. For scientists and the panic that increased across Asia. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, Dr. Valen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Alright, let's start scanning. Commander, schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. They have been sent to engineering. Nice. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. We need to know where to shoot. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Engineering online. <laughs> it appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. <laughs> Commander to Engineering. Commander to Engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to Engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright, let's make a med kit first. Because, you know, we're gonna need a med kit. Last time we got... Oh, one too many times. Fabrication of the scope device is complete. It has been delivered to the armory. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Hmm. Let's see. Since it's assault. Why not? He has a grenade launcher. Uh, you have this medkit, and I can know. I hear shotguns have horrible range. What if we gave you the commander to the situation room? Commander to the situation room. So we must give you situation. Commander, the council has requested a word. Commander, our sources have identified a number of reports regarding alien involvement in the transportation and dispersal of an unknown substance near civilian population centers. It is imperative that you investigate this activity and determine the purpose of the alien material. We will transmit further details momentarily. Sounds like we better get to it. Reports of alien activity indicate a potential shift in the invaders' methods. Abductions are continuing, but eyewitnesses at the this site claim the aliens were releasing an unknown substance into the local environment to disrupt the alien activity and retrieve a sample of the substance if possible. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Alright, so we have Rookie Moore taking place of Poor Hell and Sanchez. Alright. This is nice. Let's go.
Strike one. Prepare for landing. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. Uh, alien forces are in the area of Winters and reports seeing multiple canisters of an unknown purpose. Civilians have been evacuated. Alright, let's go. What's that? That object is different from the others. It does not appear to be the same type of pod we've seen used by the aliens during their abduction operations. We may gain new insights if we recover it. Be advised, Commander. Intel confirms enemy activity in this area. This appears to be a containment device of some kind. We can only assume it has an internal self-destruct mechanism like the other alien equipment. Although it must have already been disabled somehow. There may be additional canisters like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. Any others you find may still have operational self-destruct modules. Be careful. Alright, two of you. Alright, and uh, not the, not him, you will. Target confirmed, on our way. Location confirmed. Here they oh. come. We know where they are. Allá voy. Paso ligero. On the move. Did you find one and like not trigger it? On my way. All right. Man. Target still up. All these covers or tires, or whatever this is. Or On the move. Put them down. Visual on the, the energy goods. signature coming from that device implies the self-destruct mechanism is still intact and priming for detonation. You need to move quickly to recover it before it's too late. Recibido, señor. Allá voy. On the move. Contact. I 
knew it. Boy. Stepping off. Done, Commander. Recovering this material should give us a leg up on whatever it is the aliens are developing. I'm sure the doctors will be eager to get started. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. All right, so we're going to give you the medkit. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Keep you away. All right, good to know. The new substance is remarkable. It's no wonder the aliens wish to witness its effects on human dice. Physiology. If we can direct those efforts on our own ends, however, their experience may prove a major miscalculation. Remember, we will be watching. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Hmm. We could always get two. We already have four scientists. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Hopefully I can have all my things on, because that's where I'm going to... We've managed to successfully map the alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't entirely sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. However, our success has led to the starting realization that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. This discovery has piqued the interest of the research team, as it only raises more questions about the origin of this species. Having examined several of the alien corpses, we also observed the trend. Key components of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across each of the specimens. Although it is presumptive at this point to draw conclusions on how this is possible, I believe it is only logical to assume this alien is the product of aggressive genetic engineering, uh, well beyond anything conceived of on Earth. 
if the aliens are truly capable of s this sort of manipulation at a cellular level, I fear that we may have only scratched the surface of the technological advances over us. In any case, further research is imperative, and while we're obviously making a number of discoveries working on the working with the alien surfaces, I feel we may need a wider living specimen if we truly hope to find the answers to these questions. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Ark Thrower immediately. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I want to do that, but I realize I can go to hangar. They said that Asia does not have a have a. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. Not transfer these. Do I need to have two everywhere? All right, so I'm just gonna do two there. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I can go to the barracks, so let's go to mission control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. We should, but uh, I am actually gonna call the episode here. Uh, we did a lot, uh, and we made contact. It wasn't a uh, very, uh, we come in peace. But right now, uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But for now, uh, that's what I want to call the episode. Alright, this is Gamekeeper, signing off. <laughs>